everybody. Quite a while ago now, I posted a picture of my makeup table on Instagram. A lot of people wondered where I got it from, and many of you have requested to see my makeup collection or where I store it and stuff. So I thought today I would do a little tour of my makeup table or schminktisch. I've started weaving German words into my everyday English. It's pretty weird. So this is my schminktisch. I did buy this table from here in Germany, but I will link below as to where I got it. It was not expensive, but it is very beautiful. And before I got this table or vanity or dresser or whatever you'd like to call it, I had all my makeup in like a small suitcase <laughs> and it was just a bit shitty. All just piled into this small bag. It was really messy and stupid and I had a real need to, to organize it and stuff and like have a place to put everything and a place to put my makeup on. Sorry, I'm really lispy. I haven't worn my fangs for a few days and I've kind of gotten out of practice, but most people expect me to have like a really big impressive makeup collection because a lot of YouTubers will show off their makeup makeup collections or do like a vanity tour and they've just got ludicrous amounts of makeup. I don't really feel like I need a lot of makeup. I love makeup. I really do. I don't feel like I need a lot of it. What I will usually do is I'll find a product that I really like and then I'll stock up on it or I'll, that's the one I'll always go back to. Like I don't feel the need to have like five or six similar looking eyeshadow palettes or 20 or 30 red lipsticks or something. Also makeup doesn't last forever you know, it goes off the way food does. I just don't understand how anyone could use as much as I've seen other beauty bloggers and stuff have in their vanity it's like what do you do with all of that so anyway let's get on with it and tour my little schmink dish so this is my table here it is very pretty i really like to have as much of my furniture as possible to have either like a victorian or baroque style unfortunately that kind of furniture is normally very expensive fortunately this was not this was actually not expensive it serves its purpose perfectly so let us explore i also think it's quite cool to decorate and customize furniture so as you can see this table has three mirrors and on top of each mirror is a little skeleton see no evil hear no evil and speak no evil little skeletons i also stuck a couple of little black skulls on these parts to decorate in this light i've just realized how much you can see all the little makeup -y fingerprints I haven't even had this for that long, wow. So we have five drawers at the front here. This one here is full of eyeshadows. Most of my eyeshadows, as you can see at a glance, are from Sugar Pill, but also from NYX. Those are my two favorite brands for eyeshadow. I also have a lot of eyeshadow pencils because I think they're really cool and useful. Even though I have quite a few interesting colored eyeshadows, I don't use them that often, so. This drawer is entirely full of eyeliners. <laughs> mascaras and cool pencils. Like I said, I like to stock up on things, so I'll have like three or four of the same eyeliner. That's why it looks like so many. And this big one in the middle, that is where I keep all my contact lenses. Just a few contact lenses there, as well as a few random things like eye drops and hair bands and like backup makeup application doodads. Mm. This drawer is face stuff. Again, stocking up on stuff. So liquid foundation, powder, primer, highlighter, lip balm, blah blah blah. This drawer is my favorite because it contains all my lipsticks. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think most of my lipsticks are from NYX. I love NYX, right? Obviously. I guess I have quite a lot of lipsticks and some I have bought myself, but most of them are gifts from people. I'm fine with that. I'm quite happy to get lipstick as gifts. <laughs> it's also obvious at a glance that I'm a big fan of the NYX liquid suede lipsticks. Damn, they're nice. Every time I wear this lipstick that I have on right now, I get a lot of compliments on it and people asking what it is. Well, this is it here, and it's from Tater Rounds Beauty, which is a small one-person business on Etsy. This one's called Tourniquet Version 2, and it's fucking lush. It's so nice. Small independent business, and this may be my favorite red lipstick ever so far. So I will link Tater Rounds shop below for you too. And remember, Tourniquet Version 2. Tucked back here is a pretty metal container containing my brushes. At this point, I would like to say a huge thank you to Darian for sending me this amazing set of brushes. Thank you so much. What a rad and useful gift. That was really awesome and thoughtful of you. Ta, thank you, yay. Next to the brushes is where setting spray lives. And I have a wee few earrings hanging up there. This is a little box containing false eyelashes. And this drawer here is also entirely full of false eyelashes. I love false eyelashes, maybe you've noticed. And also, eyelash glue goes in there. Moving along, I have a couple of little skull containers. I thought I would put them to good use, so this one contains my sponge. We're putting on foundation. 
they're just the right size for that. And this one here is full of hair clips. Terribly exciting, right? Moving along is perfumes. Obviously, most of these are the same brand. These are from Parfum Noir, which you've heard me talk about before. Really, really, really nice spray on perfumes. And which brings us to this drawer here which contains my Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab perfumes, the ones that are in bottles. This one's my favorite, it's so rare. Hey, if anyone, if any one of you ever finds this, Worm Moon 08, send it my way and I will love you forever. So those are in there. I have a box full of the imps from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Just a few in there. I really, really like perfumes, by the way. Have I, have I mentioned that? But I keep this box hidden away in the dark. The stool that I sit on I think you'll appreciate as well because not only is it a stool it is also a cat bed with a little cushion inside. Isn't that sweet? Thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have not already done so please subscribe to my lovely spooky channel. I make three videos a week now. Become one of us. Become one of us. It's cool. That's a cool thing to do. So have a wonderful weekend. I hope those of you in the States have had an enjoyable Thanksgiving and that nobody got too pulverized during the Black Friday sales. Nothing to do with me. I didn't even, I didn't even know that Black Friday as like the day after Thanksgiving existed when I chose my internet name. I always just knew it as Friday the 13th, like an unlucky day. Oh well. <laughs> so thank you for joining me. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I will see you next time. Bye! Mwah. 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 Mwah.